Perhaps you're still wondering what are primers for or how do I apply them? Do I even need a primer? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Beauty Talk. My name is Linda and I love talking about everything about makeup. As you can see, I love makeup, skincare and beauty in general. And today I thought we have a little casual conversation about what are primers, how do you apply them and if you really need one. So if that's something you're interested in watching, please keep on watching. But first, I want to ask you to please give me a like at the end of this video if you like this so I know that you like this type of content. And also, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos and so that you can support me and this channel can keep on growing and I can keep on bringing really good information about makeup, beauty and skincare. Now let's get into it. So the first thing I want to note is that in order to achieve a perfect makeup, your skin needs to be looking good. The best thing we can do is take good care of our skin and the better quality your skin has, the better the makeup is going to look. In that sense, by, by using moisturizer and providing the hydration to your skin the makeup is going to uh, is going to stick better to your face and mesh better with your skin so it's going to look much better however there are those of us who we don't have perfect skin and even though we use a moisturizer we still have texture our pores are quite obvious and um, we have wrinkles and fine lines and all these issues so that's where we have these sort of primers that help they usually help to fill in the pores fill in those fine lines to smooth the skin so that it looks more uniform and also they help for the makeup to last longer so that's one thing and the main thing that primers exist for and I am going to insert a clip here of a little experiment I did, which I had seen in other channels, other YouTube channels, of how they show that with the Mandarin, I already did it here. So this is a clip from the earlier video when I was recording in Spanish. I am putting on a little bit of primer on one of the mandarins, the one from the right side, as you can see here. And then I applied the foundation and on the right side, where I apply the foundation on the mandarin, you can see how the primer really helped to fill in a little bit more the pores and of the mandarin. And on the left side, the mandarin, you can see how the foundation went on a lot more patchy and you can notice a li little more the pores. So that you can appreciate a little bit of that difference of how the primer really helps with that. You can see, so this mandarin, I did not use any primer on and you can see you can still see how the foundation didn't apply as smoothly and you can see all the little pores of the mandarin and this one you can see it has the primer it can you can see how the foundation applied a lot more smoother on on the surface of the mandarin so that's what usually you can expect from a primer however there are many primers for all needs, all skin types. So for instance, if you have dry skin, you may want to look for a primer that's going to give you a, an additional layer of hydration and is going to help your makeup last longer. I have one here, for instance, from Laura Mercier. Um, I am not sponsored by any of these things that I'm going to be showing you today, any of the products. Um, however, they're the ones I have and I'm going to be sharing with you what primers I have and my experience with them. So I have this one, which is a hydrating primer. It's from Laura Mercier. They're very famous, very well known in the community of makeup artists and, and, and you know people love them. And Laura Mercier has different primers. She has primers for oily skin, has primers for dry skin, has primers with sunscreen, has primers for blurring, has primer for filling the pores, has different primers, which is great. I have this one, which is a hydrating one, as I mentioned. 
recent and I bought this one um, because of the winter. I have oily skin general, generally, but during the winter my face, especially on the outer parts of my face, gets really dry and under my eyes. So during the winter I like to use this and also because when you're working in the office with the central heating it really really takes out all the moisture from your skin so I like to use a hydrating primer just to help that my makeup does not dry does not look cakey at the end of the day and so it looks my skin just looks fresher for longer but there are many other brands that you can find that have hydrating primers so this is just one that i have and if you have a more oily type of skin there is also these primers that are going to help you control oil production as well as minimizing or filling in the pores so they they look uh, they're disguising them and i have in that case i have this very nice bottle of um, Guerlain primer and this one is specifically for minimizing the pores and for shine control and the way I use this one is I use it in the center of my face so in my t-zone that's where usually I get very oily and I avoid using it on the outer sides of my face because I kind of like that shine here and it's not usually that oily in 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 this side of my face so that's why I like using this one just in the center <clears throat> However, there are many other brands who have uh, these primers that help control oil and minimize the appearance of the pores. And for instance, if you have combo skin, it's just, it's, it's just up to you if you want to use a primer that's going to provide a little more luminosity or a primer that's going to help to mattify like those that that are really good for people with oily skin that help mattify like the one I showed you from Guerlain that one also helps to keep the t-zone or wherever you're shining mattified nevertheless there are a infinite infinite number of primers out there nowadays all brands are making them you can find all kinds of primers for all needs beyond your skin type like for instance you can find primers that help correct skin color or decolorations or redness for instance you may find a primer that is in a green color that can help you um, with redness if you have redness around your nose and your face that's going to be really helpful for disguising that also you may find one that comes in a peach or orangey color those are generally really helpful for um, correcting purpleness like for instance around our eyes and then you may find primers in a color of purple or lilac which are helpful for those dull skins that you want a little more luminosity um, I think one of the most well-known brands that have these kind of primers that really help even out the skin color and correct these um, issues and is makeup forever if i'm not mistaken i think they have these kind of primers they're very well known for those type of primers there are also these primers that work as a skincare so they're like a hybrid between a moisturizer and a primer and these are really great because some of them even may contain you know anti-aging ingredients maybe an antioxidant or niacinamide or these really other great ingredients for your skin and the great thing about uh, these kind of primers is that maybe you're a person who you don't want to be using so many products you don't want to be using your serum your moisturizer your spf and then a primer and then your foundation so maybe you would like this type of primer because then you don't have to use another step uh, like a moisturizer instead you just use your moisturizer that is already a primer as well nevertheless nevertheless your moisturizer and i might say this again your moisturizer can work perfectly well as a primer <laughs> now there is also these primers that have spf but I need to I need to stop here because I know that there may be some primers that contain a little bit of SPF and that's great 
they may provide additional protection. However, I would not rely on a primer with SPF for the protection, for the sun protection. And why do I say this? Because generally primers are something that you do not want to apply too much amount of it. And if you know about sunscreens, SPF, you want to apply a really good amount of the sunscreen in order to get that protection. So, you know, unless you apply a really big amount of primer, you're not really going to be getting the benefit of the sunscreen. And um, so that's why I kind of stop there and you don't want to apply too much of a primer because it may actually mess up your makeup. It may not be actually it may not work as 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 it should be intended for. Um, however, <laughs> I start, I'm starting to sound like Nadine Bagot. If you don't know her, she's got great videos. She's amazing beauty skincare journalist. Go watch her videos. I love her and I've learned a lot from her. Um, However, there are, give me a second, there are sunscreens that work really well as a primer. For instance, I have this, this one from Al Alpha H, which has SPF, it's a moisturizing cream with SPF 50. And I love this cream, it's very good, it's very moisturizing. Uh, it feels a little sticky, but I think it's good. Um, and this is great because it works as a moisturizer, as a SPF, and it works really well as a primer, meaning that it really helps for the foundation to adhere to the skin and for it to last longer and looks, it sits beautifully on the skin. That's what you want to have. I also have this other one from Sun Project, which is a Korean brand, and this is a very, very nice um, product, which has SPF 30, Hope you can see this well and this is a shimmer sun essence it's brightening and also wrinkle care this is a really great product it provides a little bit more of a luminosity has a, a little bit of like a pearlescent uh, luminosity in in it very very subtle um, I think you can can barely barely see it um, but it's really good so it is a sunscreen that can be used as a primer. And in this case, it's much better because you want to you want to make sure you're using an adequate amount to truly benefit from the sun protection or the SPF of the product. Another interesting thing about primers is that some of them, you can use them alone without wearing makeup. So if you don't want to use makeup, you want to look like you're you know, more radiant, you can use them to help fill in the pores, disguise a little bit, and you're done. And you're done you want to be no makeup and they can help with that you want to be using less makeup or you don't want to wear any makeup at all you can still wear your primer in case i want to mention these other primers which are primers that provide more luminosity for instance i have this is a sample from pixie you may already know this if you don't they are available in the US and around Europe. I think they're quite popular. And this is a very interesting primer. It's a sample I got. Um, and this one, as you will see, it has almost like, it's not, it's not really shimmer. It's like this, looks like a lum illuminator. So you see how beautiful that is. And the great thing about these kind of primers because Pixi is not the only brand who does this. There are many other brands. I think Laura Mercier has also something similar and so on other brands have. And this is really great because you can wear underneath your makeup if you want for your makeup to look a lot more luminous or you can use it as a highlighter. You just tap it, tap it into your skin on the highest points and it is a luminizer. Or you can wear it underneath and then add a little extra on those high points of the face. So that's a great product. A great primer to have if you if you like that kind of um, highlight uh, highlighting if you're looking for a a primer that gives you that gives you more luminosity and makes your skin look more radiant in a similar vein there is this product which you may already know about it it's called 
uh, Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. It's super popular. You probably may have seen this in magazines, in YouTube, in uh, Instagram. You may have seen this all over the place. And it is good. That's why. That's why you see it everywhere. I love this. I love this product. And this is not necessarily a primer, but it works as illuminating, as a lum as a primer that provides some luminosity. So you can wear underneath, similarly to the Pixie primer. However, this one doesn't have that metallic sheen to it. Let me see, put it on this bottom part here. So it doesn't have that metallic sheen to it. Rather, it's more like, it's just like a light. You can see it brings a lot more light. So this one, basically I rubbed it off I'm going to put it side by side so you can see the difference with the Pixie and the Charlotte Tilbury one. So you see this is the Pixie one. Has more a little bit of a metallic sheen. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury one next to here. She's more it's just like a luminosity of the skin. It's just dewy. So uh, this is a great product, this one from Charlotte Tilbury. You can wear it underneath because it captures the light. It really helps smoothen out certain things in the face. And if you put on top a foundation, it looks really, really good. I have a sample here of this primer, which is from the brand Too Faced. It's called Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. It's a sample. I have not tried it, but I've seen it a lot in Instagram and videos or something. I think it's really popular as well. And um, it smells really nice. It's got coconut, coconut water, and it's probiotic base. It might be good for your skin. It's another of those perhaps hybrid uh, primers that also have skin care ingredients. A few of the primers that are out there in the market, perhaps there are primers that do other things. Um, I have a few because I like to experiment with them. I do like to add something to my skin and play with them and, and learn what they can do for my skin. One of my favorites, which I forgot to mention, it's the one I use in the, in the experiment I do with you to demonstrate what a primer does. It's this one. This one is from YSL, Yves Saint Laurent. This is the Touche Eclat Bleur Primer. And uh, this is my ultimate favorite primer, especially for longevity. In This is the first ever primer that I bought. It I bought it because of my wedding day. <laughs> and it really made my makeup stay in place all day through the night. I didn't even have to touch up. Um, obviously I, I used this and then I used my foundation, I used a lot of powder and um, the makeup stayed on really, really nice. Nevertheless, there are primers that are specifically for our eyelids and you may think, wow, <laughs> why do I need a primer for my eyelids? But yes, you may need them and they can be very beneficial for main things are for enhancing the pigment of the eyeshadow. Also, they can be beneficial because they will, they are usually, usually the ones I know, they come with a little tint to it. This is very little amount. You may not be even able to see what it does. So they usually come like in a, they have a little bit of a tint in it. And they are very helpful for when you have a lot of veins in your eyes or some decoloration or something. So they can be really helpful for evening out the skin around um, in, in your eyelids. And secondly, they help for enhancing the pigment of the eyeshadow. So it looks much better. And thirdly, they're really good for helping with the longevity of the eyeshadow. I, for instance, love using this, and this is one from Revlon. I've been waving it around without saying what it was. <laughs> and I like using an eyelid primer because I do have like oily lid eyelids. And if I don't use it, the, the eyeshadow just, you know, it vanishes and starts settling into the lines of, of my eyelids. And um, I find that using a, a primer is really helpful for the longevity of my eyeshadow. 
Um, I will insert a clip so you can see the difference uh, when you use one and when you don't in terms of the, of, the, of the pigment of the eyeshadow so you can see the difference of that. So here you may see I've already applied some eyeshadow to the left side and now on the right side I'm applying some eyeshadow on top of the eyelid primer and you can see the difference from the left side. The eyeshadow appears a lot more patchy whereas on the right side it looks a lot more smoother and the color is just a lot more enhanced. So that's what an eyelid primer helps to do with the eyeshadow. However, um, there are many other eyelid primers in the market and I think some of the very good ones I've heard about are uh, ones from Fenty Beauty, I've heard that's very good. I've heard one from Hourglass is a little more expensive. I've heard that one's very good as well. Um, I've also tried the one from NYX or N NYX and that one was very good. I like that one because it was like a waterproof one. It was really nice for traveling because you know when I go to the beach I sometimes like to wear makeup. Well sometimes no, I like to wear makeup even when I go to the beach. I know, I know, but I just love wearing makeup. Maybe I wear a little less. But anyway, stop. I'm going to stop rambling here. And the last thing I wanted to share with you today is um, that there is also these things that are called um, makeup fixers. And the great thing about these products, not all of them, you, you may need to ensure that they are meant for, for what I'm saying, suggesting now. So this, this is one that has three purposes. You can use it to prep your skin, so it works as a primer. You can use it to refresh and then you can use it to set your makeup. So this is a great product to have if you're a person that you don't want to have too many products, your skin doesn't really have so much texture, but you want something that's going to help the makeup just adhere a little better to your skin. and you're also going to help with it in terms of the longevity of your makeup. So this is a great product in that sense. This one in particular from Iconic London has this bronzy tone which is for providing a little more of a luminosity to the skin. It's really nice, makes the skin look a little more dewy and also it really helps for the makeup to last. However, there are many, many makeup setting sprays out there in the market. You can find ones that are good for mattifying this, the makeup, you can find ones that are more hydrating, you can find all sorts of them. The other great thing about using a makeup setting spray is that when you use powder it helps for the powders to sort of like melt and blend together with your foundation and your face doesn't look as powdery and the skin looks a lot more smoother a lot more the makeup looks a lot more natural so this is all the information that i have from you know about the primers and um, well i may have missed something so if i did please leave it in the comments i'd love to know so that i can address that in the next video um, however this is all the information that i have and i would really like to know if you use a primer if you use a primer which primer do you use which are your favorite primers please leave it in the comments below however i want to remind you that you may not need a primer it is sufficient to use a good moisturizer or your SPF may work just as well as a primer and uh, so you don't really need to buy a primer it's just a matter of preference so i hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been informative and if you had any doubts about primers maybe now they're clarified and um, but if you have any suggestions or any other subjects you'd like me to address, uh, I would love to know. Please leave them in the comment in the comments below as well. And I just want to thank you so much for staying here with me, watching me watching this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.